to In Your Face with Ryan Kelly and Teddy Smith. Today, we will be the, these two will be debating topics. Our first topic is Every Golson returning to Notre Dame. Ryan? Well, Every Golson, it's nice that he's been enrolled, but what an idiot. He threw his whole college per football away for a whole season because he cheated on a take home test. I don't know exactly how you cheat on a take home test, but this is how exactly how he said he did it. He has this. He had the same exact answers as like one of the smartest kids in his like class. Come on, Everett. Better academic judgment. Um, I actually have to agree with Ryan. I don't know why in the world he would do that. Well, actually, um, let me rephrase that. I do know why he would do that, but it is a very stupid move. I mean, he said he did it because he didn't want to be ashamed by getting a bad, possible bad grade on his test. And so he cheated and just automatically made it um, an, a really bad grade and got suspended. I don't know why, honestly, I don't, I, don't why, I don't know why Notre Dame's letting him back so early. And the next is Dwight Howard landing in Houston with an $88 million deal. Is um, I mean, well, for one, I don't really know why Houston would want him. I mean, he's got very good talent, but he's been creating so many problems in the locker room, even in L.A. And plus, he turned down um, $30 million more million from the L.A. Lakers to go to Houston. And Houston has a rising star in James Harden, so I, just, I don't think that was a good idea. Well, if I'm a Laker fan, I'm happy because now I have... No, ca I have absolutely all the cast space in the world for next year and the biggest free agency maybe of all time. But if I'm Houston, I'm glad that I have a big man to build around. But there's also going to be some problems. I mean, Jane, I don't think James Harden is the kind of guy that's just going to give over the team to Dwight. And I also think that Dwight wasn't the smartest man walking away from another year and another $30 million guarantee. Could you imagine $160 million guaranteed? Wow, that's a, a lot to walk away from. And we are now sticking with the NBA, and LeBron James only has one year left in his contract. Where do you think his future will be, Ryan? I think he will go back to Cleveland. When LeBron James pops in my head, I think of Akron, Ohio, where he goes after every season, back to Akron, to have a camp. I think the Cavaliers, with now with Kyrie Irving, and they just newly signed Andrew Bynum, I think this gives him a good... A, the Cavaliers a good chance for, for LeBron to sign with them. Teddy? Uh, yeah, I think he would like to go back to Cleveland. I don't know how the Cleveland fans would feel about that. Having him leaving and every, and a lot of them, and a lot of the fans hating him. But, um, and then him coming back. So I don't know how the fans will feel. But um, yeah, I think it'll be a good fit. It could be the big three all over again with Bynum. Irving and LeBron in a couple of years. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be it here for us. This has been In Your Face with Brendan Lynn, Ryan Kelly, and Ty Smith. <laughs>